Well, it's April now, time to do some spring cleaning. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel, Britt Brings at Home. My name is Britt and I do videos to help you create a healthy and organized home. And I have a deep cleaning schedule for your whole home to help you clear some clutter and tackle all those deep cleaning and organization jobs around the home. So I have it broken up into the 12 months and you can find that schedule and print it off on my blog, BrittBringsAtHome.com. I will put the link to that down below. So it's April now. So in this video, I am doing April's deep cleaning jobs and bringing you along with me. So this is what we have on the schedule for April's deep cleaning jobs. We're focusing on the windows this month. So we are cleaning the blinds, the trim around the windows, the actual window panes. We're washing all the curtains and ironing them and hanging them back up. And then also this month we are replacing the air filters. So if you saw my January deep cleaning video, I did that then and it's time to replace the air filters again. I replace them every four months so that we're getting all that dust, all those toxins out of the house. We're replacing them with clean filters so that they can do their job and pull out all that dust and dirt and debris and everything out of the air so we have nice clean, fresh air to breathe. So in this video, I'm going to share with you tips. I'm going to hopefully give you some motivation so that you can go and do the same things in your own home. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let YouTube know that you like it. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to stay notified when I come out with new videos like this one. I have new cleaning and organizing videos every month along with videos related to health and wellness, clean beauty, meal planning, healthy recipes, and more. All right, so keep watching and let's get going with April's deep cleaning jobs. Did you ever stop and think, why spend too much time just getting ready? Honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Okay guys, I don't know about you, but when I watch other YouTubers cleaning videos, one of the best things about them is the music. I like listening to the music and then hearing their tips as they're cleaning and kind of clean along with them. So I don't know if that's what you are doing right now. Let me know in the comments below. Are you cleaning while you are listening to this YouTube video or watching this YouTube video? Or are you just watching it and doing nothing else? What are you doing while you're watching this? And let me know, do you enjoy like kind of listening to music while you're watching me clean? Or do you enjoy more voiceover? I always wonder that like I want to put good music in here that can motivate you and make you excited to get up and go clean and make your home warm and welcoming for your family and for any guests that come. So hopefully this music is motivating. In this video, I used a lot more upbeat, positive, just motivating music. And I was actually listening to a lot of music while I was filming this video. Sometimes I like to listen to podcasts or watch or listen to other YouTube videos, but this time I listen to a lot of music. I think music is just so powerful. I mean, listening to a certain kind of a song can change your mood and your attitude. Relaxing music can help you to calm down when you're, you know, stressed out. It can help you to relax and upbeat, happy, positive music can make you happier and motivated to do something, be productive. Sad music can make you sad. 
and so on and so on. Whatever the tone of the music is, it can have an effect on your mood. So it's just so powerful. I haven't always been a super big music person. I'm more, I guess you would say a nerd. I like to learn. So I usually like to listen to books on audio or podcasts or YouTube videos or things like that where I'm learning something. But I'm starting to grow to love music more and more just because when I do listen to books and podcasts and stuff all the time while I'm doing other things, while I'm multitasking, it can be a lot on your mind, especially when I have kids that are running around and talking to me too. Like I can't, I can't focus on the podcast and on my kids and on what I'm doing. It can be a lot and it can give you headaches and just increase your stress levels. So I've just been learning more and more to not always be trying to learn, but to take breaks sometimes and just, just let my mind rest and just kind of quiet my mind. Even if it's not like a quiet atmosphere, at least my mind isn't, you know, going hundred miles an hour and thinking about whatever I'm learning about and trying to take in and remember my mind is more in a relaxed state and I'm able to you know comprehend what my kids are talking about if they come and ask me something I don't have to you know shift and you know pause the podcast or the YouTube video or whatever I can listen to them more easily and just be there for them more just let my mind relax more so anyways I always try to incorporate a lot of good music into my videos there are some songs that I wish I could have in my videos, but I don't want to get a copyright violation. So I do use a website called Epidemic Sound and they do have a lot of good choices. And so that's where this music is coming from. Anyways, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you like listening to music while you watch cleaning videos or if you would rather hear all the tips that you can and have a lot more voiceover in the video. So anyways, like I said today, we are cleaning the windows and we're cleaning like everything on the window we're cleaning the blinds the frame around the window the actual window pane the curtains everything so the first thing that I do is clean the blinds and to do that I am using my branch basics multi-purpose cleaner and I'm not going to give you the whole spiel about why I love branch basics in this video because I already did that in a previous video. You can go back and watch my March deep cleaning video. And in that video, I talked a lot about branch basics and why I love them so much. And I think I got a little carried away, but I love branch basics. They sell a concentrate and they sell the refillable bottles where you just fill them up with water and a little bit of the concentrate and you can clean pretty much everything in your home with this concentrate and water. And it's so, 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 so simple. Whenever I run out of a bottle of multi-purpose cleaner, I just refill it with a little concentrate and mostly water. So the concentrate is lasting me forever. So I am just getting a load of laundry started. I'm gonna start washing the curtains since we have a lot to do. It's gonna take a few loads to wash all the curtains. So I am getting them going so they can wash and dry and be done by the time I am done cleaning all the windows. So to wash my clothes and my curtains without toxic chemicals, I use Molly's Suds laundry detergent most of the time sometimes I use like Thrive Markets brands or I make my own homemade laundry detergent which you can find the recipe for that on my blog I have a post where I go over the same things that I'm showing you in this video it is my April deep cleaning post I will link that down below and in that post I give the recipe for my homemade laundry detergent but laundry detergent is the like cleaning product that takes me the longest to make it's the most time consuming and so I still do make some of my own homemade cleaning products and beauty products and things but laundry detergent is one that I would rather spend a little bit extra money on and buy a good non-toxic laundry detergent just to save a little bit of time so I really love Molly's suds it is clean and non-toxic, not full of harmful chemicals, not full of fragrance. I do have eczema and I am currently working on balancing my hormones. They have been out of whack and have caused me fatigue and 
other problems. And so one thing that can cause hormonal imbalance is harmful chemicals in beauty products and home cleaning products. So you always want to look at the ingredients in products. If a product has parabens in it, that's not a good thing. Parabens can cause hormonal imbalance. And also if it says fragrance, fragrance usually has chemicals called phthalates and phthalates are other endocrine disruptors, meaning they can make your hormones go out of balance. And a lot of those harmful chemicals in cleaning products and beauty products can irritate eczema. They don't actually cause eczema, but if you have eczema already, it can make it worse. It can irritate your skin and make it itch more and cause you to scratch more and just make it worse. Because of those two things and to just prevent other health problems in my family, I choose to only use products in my home that are safe and non-toxic and to make sure they are, I use two different apps. I use the EWG app and the Think Dirty app, and I always look at the back of the product and look at the ingredients and just make sure that there's nothing that stands out to me as being harmful. Of course, I don't know what every single ingredient in the world is and whether it's safe or not, so I just kind of eyeball it and just see if it looks like it's safe or not, but then I always double check with one of those apps to see what score they give it and they give products a score on either a number scale or a letter scale and on EWG A is the best F is the worst and on the think dirty app zero is the best and 10 is the worst so you want to try to get things that are close to zero or that are an A so anyways I use Molly Suds and then also I don't use fabric softener instead I use white distilled vinegar and I put about half a cup of that or so into the fabric softener dispenser and that is a natural fabric softener and it does not even make your clothes smell like vinegar but just to make sure that the clothes do end up smelling good when I dry my clothes I use wool dryer balls and I just put a few drops of essential oil onto those and throw about three of them in the dryer and that that helps not only to give it a good scent, a good natural clean scent, but also it helps reduce dryer time and it reduces static cling. So I have been loving using those. So anyways, you can use another multi-purpose cleaner, but whatever one you use, try to find the one that is non-toxic, that is not filled with harmful chemicals, words that you can't even pronounce, you have no idea what they are, and things like fragrances. Fragrance can have thousands of chemicals in just that one word. It is the company's proprietary blend. They don't have to tell you what goes in it, and so they get away with putting a lot of harmful things and you don't know what it is, so it could be something that you're allergic to and you have no idea. I just always find it best to just not get things that have fragrance in them. I only get products from companies that are transparent and actually tell what exactly is in that product. They don't use things like artificial fragrance or natural fragrance or natural flavors in food. They gotta be honest. They gotta, they gotta tell you what's in it. So I am using Branch Basics and I am just spraying the blinds and then I am wiping them with a microfiber cloth. Sometimes I wet my microfiber cloth a little bit with water or just spray a few squirts of the multi-purpose cleaner onto my cloth just to make it easier to wipe down. But I wipe each slat well and get off all the dust and dirt and fly poop because yes, <laughs> the blinds and the windows have a fly poop on them. If you see little like black or brown or yellow or orange dots all around your window, that's what that is. In case you didn't know, it's fly poop. It's disgusting. It's gotta go. So just scrub if you need to add some more squirts of your cleaner here and there, do that. And if your cloth is getting super dusty and dirty, then definitely switch it out. It does no good if you continue to try to clean with a rag that is dirty. It just spreads the dirt around. So I did go through probably 10 different cloths during the filming of this video. But I clean the, I guess 
you could call it the front side of the blinds and then I turn them over and do the same exact thing on the back side. Spray with a few more squirts of multi-purpose cleaner all over and scrub each slat. And also the ones that are bunched up at the bottom, I go through and wipe the top and the bottom of each of those two because even though you know they're not really exposed to as much air, they're not getting as much dust, they can still definitely get dirty. So they still need to be wiped down too. And up in the clouds But I've always felt that something's missing That was until I found you right there in the crowd You came into my life and started a fire You made me feel like I could touch the sky, oh There's nothing missing now that you're my desire Now all I have to do is to make it mine And once I'm done wiping down all the blinds then I also wipe down the frame around the window and I make sure to get in all those grooves and especially get at the top good that's where most of the dust is going to be and then I roll the blinds up and I clean all of that inside part of the window frame and then next I open the window up and this is the part that is probably the most disgusting but I wipe down all that part that is exposed to the outside. We do not have screens on our windows, so like when you open up the window, it's just the outside. <laughs> and it is April right now, and a lot of pollen has fallen, so there's a lot of green and yellow pollen there. And also there are some spider webs and some more fly poop and a bunch of disgusting stuff. So I spend a good amount of time like wiping down all this part, the bottom part of the window pane, all the sides and getting all that gross stuff off of there. And a lot of these windows are extra dirty, more dirty than they might be. If I would have followed my deep cleaning schedule to the T last year. So last year I actually did not follow my own deep cleaning schedule for most of the year. I was dealing with a lot of fatigue. Like I said, I'm in the process of rebalancing my hormones and the biggest symptom for me of my hormone imbalance was fatigue. And thank goodness that is almost completely gone. I have a whole lot more energy now than I did a year and two years ago. So last year, like it was all I could do just to do my regular weekly cleaning, you know, cleaning the bathrooms, dusting the house, cleaning the kitchen, keeping up with the laundry and the dishes and those things. So I did not do most of my deep cleaning last year. So it has been two years since I have cleaned the windows. And I definitely do not recommend cleaning your windows every two years when you wait a long time in between cleanings, they get a lot dirtier. So it would have probably taken me about half as long to clean the windows if I would have followed my schedule last year. But because I didn't, it is taking me a little bit longer this time to wipe them down and get rid of all that gross pollen and spider webs and things like that. But after I clean all the frame of the window, I close the windows back and then I clean the actual glass. And to do that, my non-toxic window cleaner that I use is Ecos. And Ecos window cleaner is a non-toxic plant-based cleaner that doesn't have ammonia in it. And it's made of water and vinegar and a few other ingredients. So it's safe and it works really well with cleaning the window without leaving streaks. You can also make your own homemade window cleaner with water and vinegar and some essential oils. And I have a recipe for that in my April deep cleaning post, which is linked down below. So if you wanna try your hand at making your own homemade window cleaner, definitely check that post out. It's super simple to make. Again, I just sometimes opt for the convenience of buying one that's already made. And I've tried to do the more eco-friendly way of cleaning windows with a microfiber cloth, but that just doesn't seem to work as well as paper towels with cleaning the windows without leaving streaks. So whenever I try to use a microfiber cloth and do it the eco-friendly way, it leaves streaks all over and just doesn't 
clean as well. So I do use paper towels with my window cleaner. So the windows are all clean, hallelujah, we are almost done. So now my curtains have all been washed and dried, so it's time to iron them. And I'll tell you, I am not a huge ironing person. I hardly ever iron my clothes. If they are super wrinkly, I will throw them in the dryer and run them for a few minutes to help the wrinkles come out. But I do iron the curtains before I hang them up. I don't iron both sides. I just do one side. I iron the side that is facing out that you're able to see. And I recommend checking the tag on your curtains and seeing what it's made of and adjusting the setting on your iron to whatever material it is because you do not want to, you know, burn a hole through your curtains. So for most of mine, I use like a medium setting. For the thicker, like heavy duty curtains, I bumped it up a little bit. And then for the like sheer curtains, I went down to like a medium low setting. And then once all those curtains were ironed, I hung them back up and I didn't show it here, but I did wipe down the curtain rod again with a microfiber cloth and just put a few squirts of my multi-purpose cleaner on the cloth and wiped down the rod. And then I hung all the curtains back up and if your curtains are not totally completely ironed all the wrinkles are not out it is totally fine the wrinkles will continue to fall out as they are hanging there so don't worry about them being super super straight I know if you are a mom like me you are busy you've got other things to do you don't have hours to iron curtains so iron one side a little bit it's good to go Okay, and then the last thing that I have on my deep cleaning schedule for April is changing out the air filters. And I did this in January, so you can go back and watch my January deep cleaning video. I spent a little bit more time changing out the air filters and cleaning out that grate and all around the return. This time they were not that dirty, so I didn't spend a lot of time cleaning them. I did wipe down that grate, I quickly wiped down in all the slats, wiped around where the air filter goes, and then I did replace one of the air filters. I checked to see if it it was dirty and so one of them was pretty dirty so I changed that out the other one like there was hardly any dust at all on it so I'm gonna keep that in there for a little longer I'll check it again next month and see if it needs to be replaced yet and if not then I will wait until the next time I change out the air filters which will be in another three months so in July I will clean these grates and see if the air filters need to be changed again. All right guys, well that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some motivation and some tips that you can use to go apply to your own window cleaning and air filter cleaning in your home. Again, if you like this video, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel so that you can be a part of my community here. All right guys, well I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. From my home to yours, See you next time.